On October 16, 2024, India took a significant step toward strengthening its defense ties with Armenia. The Indian Ministry of Defense authorized the export of the Pralay quasi-ballistic missile to Armenia, a move that highlights India's increasing engagement in the region and its commitment to supporting Armenia's defense capabilities amid ongoing regional tensions. Though the Armenian Ministry of Defense has yet to officially confirm the deal, sources suggest that an agreement is in its final stages, with India negotiating the specifics of the arrangement. Developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, the Pralay missile represents a strategic leap in India's missile technology. Launched in 2015, the Pralay is a short-range, surface-to-surface ballistic missile, designed primarily for tactical military operations. Its unique quasi-ballistic trajectory sets it apart from traditional ballistic missiles, as it can shift from a high, arching ballistic path to a flatter, more unpredictable trajectory after launch. This allows the missile to avoid interception by standard anti-ballistic missile, ABM defenses, making it highly effective in combat situations. The missile's ability to change its flight path mid-course, combined with high speed and terminal maneuverability, positions the Prelay as a formidable weapon, similar to the Russian Iskander M missile, which has seen success in recent conflicts. With a circular error probable CEP of about 10 meters, the Prelay has proven accuracy, ensuring that it can precisely target critical infrastructure such as radar installations, command centers, and airstrips. India's defense strategy has long been intertwined with Russia, whose missile expertise has influenced India's missile development. The BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, developed jointly by India and Russia, exemplifies this collaboration. Building on this foundation, the Pralay missile incorporates technology from both nations, with advanced maneuverable reentry vehicle, MARV systems and a thrust vector control system that enhances its terminal phase evasive capabilities. In compliance with international arms control regulations, India has made technical adjustments to the Pralay missile's export version. This version is limited to a range of 300 kilometers and a payload capacity of no more than 500 kilograms. Despite these restrictions, the Pralaya's capabilities, ranging from high explosive fragmentation warheads to runway denial submunitions, ensure that it remains a potent deterrent for Armenia. Armenia's interest in acquiring the Pralay missile stems from the need to counterbalance Azerbaijan's increasing missile capabilities, particularly the LoRa long-range artillery missile system developed by Israel Aerospace Industries. With a range of up to 400 kilometers and a CEP of 10 meters, the LoRa missile presents a significant threat to Armenia's strategic assets. The Pralay, with its advanced guidance system, improved survivability features, and superior evasion techniques, offers a compelling countermeasure. Its radar evading capabilities, enhanced by a fused silica radar dome, radome, and terminal maneuverability make it a valuable asset in Armenia's efforts to safeguard its military infrastructure. While both the Pralay and Lora are quasi-ballistic systems with short to medium ranges, their design philosophies differ. The Pralay missile, with a range of up to 500 kilometers, prioritizes evasion through terminal maneuverability and low radar signatures. In contrast, the LoRa missile focuses on extreme precision with GPS and terminal phase imaging guidance, offering a greater emphasis on pinpoint strikes against critical infrastructure. Armenia's acquisition of the Pralay missile would allow it to better counter the LoRa's high precision with enhanced survivability and maneuverability in contested airspace. If the agreement is finalized, Armenia will become the first international buyer of the Pralay missile, marking a historic moment for India's defense exports. The Pralaya's export to Armenia is part of a broader trend in which India has been actively strengthening defense ties with countries in need of advanced military technology. In recent years, Armenia has acquired a range of high-tech weaponry from India, including Swati radars, M982 Excalibur precision artillery shells, and interest in advanced artillery systems like the Atag's howitzers and the Panaka multiple launch rocket system, MLRS. These arms sales not only enhance Armenia's defensive and offensive capabilities, but also underscore India's growing influence in global defense markets. India's defense industry, bolstered by its indigenous advancements and strategic partnerships, is poised to play a key role in shaping regional security dynamics. India's decision to export the Pralay missile to Armenia is a milestone in the evolving defense relationship between the two nations. It reflects both countries' desire to bolster regional stability and security, particularly in light of ongoing tensions with neighboring Azerbaijan. By providing Armenia with advanced missile technology, India is not only strengthening Armenia's defense posture, but also positioning itself as a key player in global defense exports. As the Pralay missile moves closer to deployment in Armenia, 
It represents a powerful symbol of India's increasing strategic autonomy and its commitment to enhancing security in a volatile region.